Hello, Armchair Generals. Welcome back. This is episode 11 of Battletech Advanced 3062. We're going to pick up where we left off from last episode. Just we'll start churning through these missions here. We have an ordnance depot capture, basically a base capture. Probably going to have a uh, Lance or Star, since it's Clan Wolf, um, protecting it. I don't know if maybe initially or they'll come in later. S looks like it's about sixty-five thousand dollars for two more salvage rights. I'll go with the ninety-one thousand. We're gonna spend almost that much just in <laughs> ammo. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we, we we need we need some cash at least. We got a couple new. Oh, that's right. I already went through. Off camera, I went through and uh, changed out a couple of the mechs here. So, like Scorch now, he's riding the Adder, he's no longer the Chimera. Chimera is now sitting on the, the backside. Bloody Doves is now riding the Kit Fox. He's no longer in the Gen 2C. Everybody else is set where they are. Two Kit Foxes, two Adders, a Cephalus, and a Mislinx. That's a good, uh, good setup. While we're deploying, Again, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video while we are waiting for the computer to set things up. So I'll be back to you shortly. And we're back. Uh, capturing the base. It's a half skull mission, so not that big of a deal, really, I don't feel. Let's go ahead and begin and see what we're having to deal Command with. Interface initiated. Fairly straightforward. Go, uh, Commander. This is the edge of the map, and uh, we can go quite a ways there. There's the edge of the map there. And okay, so we're kind of in the corner. Um, let's stride on in. I assume I have a star or two coming in. Moving, Commander. Moving out. On it. Uh, oh, we do have a dropship that'll be landing here eventually. It's probably not the uh, enemy coming in. That's probably our buddy, it's right next to the uh, right next to the base here. It's probably our buddies uh, that are looking to plunder this base. Roger. Okay, so everybody's moved, we're maxed out with our, that we can, max out to our third evasion. What do we got? Can't lose two buildings. And hopefully none get destroyed. So, um, yeah, I don't know what, what we're... Just... Location confirmed. Moving, Commander. No. On my way. Confirmed. Running this thing's over here. That way I got a missile boat and long range auto cannon. Moving, Commander. Heading out. Mm -hmm. Okay, as I say, I'm sure there's got to be enemy making a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Three of them. And they landed right in. So a cephalus that is damaged or has lost weapons, has AMS. Yeah, which, uh, <laughs> I hate to kill the cephalus because I got two missile boats that are going to be hating that AMS anti-missile system. Air medium LR5 Streak 4, um, and then we've got Kit Fox Prime with an ER large laser and a Streak 4. Oh, thank goodness the LLBI5X is out of action. Plus a 20 tonner. All 
only show three, so and no elementals. Okay, we're gonna reserve. Holding for the right make, opportunity. Make that move. Cephal's moved. Cephal's will be my Ready, first target here. Uh, Ready for orders. Um, actually, let's reserve. Holding, Commander. They got a lock on me. Uh, that's what I was waiting for. I figured it's a 20-ton mech. It's probably something's got Beagle Active Probe on it. Good to go. Uh, but that's right. time let him move burn my beagle active probe and get all three oh, he didn't move here a large laser ouch does a lot of damage to a light losing mech. lots of armor yes I know. commander ready commander standing by so we're gonna come in like this actually we're just gonna jump it's just too, it's just too like Firing that. jump jet. Beagle active probe. All of their sensors are messed up, impaired now, uh, and they they don't have neither one of these guys. No one has evasion. Uh, they still have Cephalosis and still have Yes, one. Commander. Uh, let's see here. We want to burn down the Cephalus, so let's get more than that. Um, Cephalus. Switch to. Oh, I can't switch. Slug is all I get. No cluster. Alright. One ER meeting laser actually hit. Well, that's what Ready, I get for later. shooting at it from. Bravo! Hello. Rage here. It wants me to take on the fire moth, but. The cephalus because it has EMS. Well, that was really quick. Leak watch over. I think it got a head hit out of that. Waiting for orders. That would be amazing, and I will take that. Um, next. Fire off here because it's the quickest of the enemy mechs. Switch out of cluster either. Yeah, cluster is all I have in this one, so okay. too close then yeah my odds of hitting are lower and I can't turn if I go up here okay so here 63 let's see how 40 missiles are enjoyed just gonna do right center here so All right. 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 Yeah. 40 missiles 160 damage if all hit that's and plus I, I had uh, Weapons. Ready to get it on. Uh, laser still going off. First, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna fire where we are. We don't care about the uh, heat. I got it. it that easy, that quick. Can go down. That easy, that quick.
mission successful. Yeah, that was a stupidly easy mission. Went with the Cephalus first because, again, AMS. I have two missile boats. I didn't want to get, you know, close enough to the Cephalus that the AMS would start knocking down my uh, LRMs. So once the Cephalus was out with that lucky head hit, apparently, um, then I went on the low little mech because uh, it had big Galactic Pro, and it, I think it's got, it, it has a cooldown, I think like a three three turn, four turn cooldown or something like that, but I don't know if the AI follows those rules. Um, I didn't want the Beagle Actor Pro to be firing off again, plus it goes first. So, knock that one down. The only one left is one that has an aid initiative, and I got three people that go before you do. Uh, nice, nice. Big success there. We were only getting 30,000 or something like that, and I knew we were getting ammo because uh, all their LRMs were firing, but good god, that collateral damage bonus. Um, it's red, but that's got to be a positive because, yeah, success void collateral damage bonus to be awarded. Here's the bonus awarded, 67,000. But it must have gotten something else on top of that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, took some damage. Ooh, that leg almost got, armor got stripped off that leg almost. All right. We go with Kit Fox, but let's go with equipment. Um, we'll probably end up getting every. No, we won't get everything. So let's go with AMS because I don't have Clan AMS. Um, it's not that it's that this is any better than Inner Sphere. I think Inner Sphere is the same weight. Maybe? I'm not sure. But I'll take the clan just to have the clan version, and I'm going to take an ER Large Laser, because I only have one. It's good to have two. They gave me two parts of the Cephalus, kept the third. They gave me a Kit Fox, kept the other three. And it gave me a Fire Moth. So we have the ECM suite as well. That's nice. Uh, SRM ammo. Uh, and streak SRM ammo. That's fine. We'll keep, we'll keep both. Uh, there's like certain certain limits, if you will. Uh, certain thresholds where I'll be like, okay, if I have more than this, I'm going to sell. <sighs> Depending upon what it is, like, you know, weapons, for example. If I have double digits of something, more than likely I'm just going to sell the excess get it down to, to 10 but it all depends the type of weapon and stuff like that this is early on so we don't really have a lot of stuff uh, a lot of duplicates of stuff I mean we do but it's not like you know I have double digits duplicates of stuff um, so we, we still got a little ways to go before I, I start selling excess per se the clan for a fibrous armor yeah I will go ahead and sell that the extras I get on that just because I think I have seven or something like that. Okay, easy pickings. This is the one that I really, really, really want to take on. There's a convoy, and I discussed an episode, last episode or two ago, that um, uh, when you succeed in this mission, you take out the convoy among the salvage stuff that you can pick from are convoy containers, which each one I think is like worth 500,000 bucks. And inside the con uh, container contains uh, equipment, weapons, uh, even mech parts, vehicle parts, stuff like that in there. So a lot of cool stuff that we can get from this. Um, we're going full on because it's a convoy. Uh, the 23 salvage that we're going to get will be well worth giving up any, uh, any extra money we'll get from this. Like I said, I'll put you guys on pause. Good grief, not even 15 minutes into this video, and this is my second mission. That first mission was, like, really quick. But I will be back to see you guys shortly. Head back. Alrighty, begin this mission. Command interface initiated. Uh, we're in the urban center. Uh, a couple ways past by right Escaping. 
So, okay, convoy's going from here. I don't know how they're driving. Probably through this road here. Um, yeah, I don't know how they're getting to this. Come on here, there's a road here. Kind of goes around there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure a way that I that I could get to. I might as well go towards the denial zone. Chance. Let's dare. Position confirmed. Um, you move pretty quickly ish as well. Uh, you're going to come around this way. Moving, Commander. Coordinates received. I just realized all my people here don't have jump jets so far. Let's move. Oh my goodness. What's up, boss? You have jump jets, actually. So we're gonna have you run. Oh, you can run through here like that. Okay. Um, oh wow! So you are stuck. Careful maneuvers. Confirm. Um, what would get us out of here easier? Probably this way. Roger that. That kind of blows chunks. It, these are dynamically created random type maps. They're not. Uh, there are there are select maps that are primary data on screen. Um, Do they think they can hurt me? But these dynamic maps, you know, you can get literally get stuck somewhere and not be able to not be able to move normally. Okay, so what are, what are all these things here? Scorpion and harasser. I'll, I'll, popping out of this building here. That kind of really sucks. This is not going to be the easy mission that I thought it was going to be. Commander. Um, so yes, you were able to kind of maneuver and get out of there. But we're going to reserve. Ready, Commander. Um, we're going to sprint because you you're going to come around. Bravo. Up. Court, rather. What's up, boss? Is it where it's at? I doubt. The convoy started here. Oh, the convoy might be going this way, even. That would really be a... I mean, it's possible. It could be going through this. It's going to follow the road. That could be. That could be. Yes, Commander. here. Scorpion here. MRM 20 is very deadly. 
Roger. Probably a convoy if it's moving at speed. Yes, Commander. Um, we can do the same with you. Let's just do standard just because the same amount of uh, more damage and the same amount of chance to hit. Vehicle destroyed. Yep. Commander. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. That's on that one arm. We're having LRM 10. Eek. Um. Acknowledged. Eliminated. Took three of my mechs to take care of two of their uh, tanks. What do you need? Not a great trade off, but not horrid either. Um, so we still have that guy there, which I want to sprint. Affirmative. Back, back with uh, some buddies riding on him. Yeah, this is probably the convoy here. There's also a vehicle there, so that's probably part of the, part of the convoy. This is a this is this is the convoy, and this is who we need to take out first. This Kit Fox here for sure. So got a lock. The, that guy. Yeah. So let me check something here. Direct is 5.4. Direct's 11. Point whatever. Got it. Take the uh, direct. Take this. Not much. Not much. That's the battle armor there. for it to detach there and just be here far enough away from my guys waiting for orders um we're gonna reserve holding for tactical advantage ready commander yes commander i am going to jump up to here. <laughs> we will throw down another sensor lock. I've got him. a sensor lock. Which, that may not do much of anything. Ready, Commander. It. Maybe the Kid Fox goes, I'm going to give it up. <laughs> yeah, well, right, battle armor drops off, something like Ready, that. Commander. All right, so we're going to run you. You're not involved in battle, unfortunately, but I'm going to have to run you. Um, yeah, you can't make it through any of the stuff there. Running backwards is not an option, so press forward. Problem. Get you to the denial zone. So that way we can kind of come in here and if I can get up here, I might have a 
visibility on everything coming around this curve here and coming around here. Good to go. Observed. Waiting for orders. Okay. Let's kind of have you run backwards a bit. Get away from Understood. that kid fox. Moving fast. Kid fox can't go too far. Me a yeah, real he's, mech he's far warrior. enough away, I don't have to worry about the battle armor. Receiving you. Um, with you. Yeah, it doesn't really help to get too much closer. So let's go our seven evasion. Acknowledged. That's all you've got? Standing by. Tertress, we're going to jump. Aye, aye. Let's jump down there, so that way in case the building gets collapsed. We're going to ping the Kid Fox again, drop it down to two evasion. Locked on. C3. Ready, Commander. Standing by. Thirty missiles. Let's see what does. Sir. Battle armor damage. That's about it. Ready, Commander. Throttle up. See the path they're going, so if we just run backwards, basically. I want to stay away from. Yep. So if we run over to here. Yeah, we can still fire. Okay, let's go ahead and do just that. Copy that. Watch for another one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. A little better. Get my fingers out of there. But now this sucks. Four. 
orders. Because Scorch is going to be the next one on the hit list, too. Commander. Alright, let's go like so. Possibly. Ready for orders. I mean, I can fire at those guys, but I can't fire at those guys. I don't know if the uh, battle armor has jump jet capability, so I don't. I don't even, again. I don't want to get too close here. Roger. On top of the building. Far enough away. Um, yeah, let's just take on the. Uh, I mean, I could pop the active probe here, but if we can, if we can take out some more. Let's hit him hard. There we go. Target's taking a critical hit remaining. Ready, Commander. Let's see what happens. 
Let's warm up. Yep, we're gonna run the red line. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire. I was thinking, bring it down. with all the damage I did in that one area, it's pushing the red line. Gotta be. <laughs> so one convoy down. chance to hit or it only had a 1% chance to hit or a 99% chance to miss. I don't know. I don't know how it runs those things. Yeah. So because it missed, no, no, it still has an evasion. I thought, uh, oh no, it has no evasion. I'm, with, I'm almost 70 evasion. and the uh, battle armor. Leg. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah? Um, let's fire your 40 missiles. So, they're going to go before I... So, Beagle Active Probe is not going to affect but one. Okay. 50, 50, 30. So, that's a machine gun. Machine gun, machine gun. That's one. Machine gun SRM-6. Let's go ahead and take a look.
Got it. Just jump to high ground. Actually, Beagle Active Probe here. Uh, no. So let's fire the laser. Roger that. Oh. Orders. Let's give everybody advanced heuristics and two of your mediums, an SRM six is two of them, your small. This thing's cephalus, two ear mediums, and a UAC 5. Probably the more deadlier. Also, coincidentally, the easiest to hit. Engaging. hit there. They've got a sensor lock on me. Well, it's kind of a bummer, but that's all right. They both move now at this good point, to go. so we are indeed good to go. Up hot. That's <laughs> like jumping around like Superman. All righty. Firing. Hell yeah! Inflicted some laser. heavy damage. That's good. Waiting for orders. Go. 
Roger that. Going to full throttle. Let's get some targeting on that sucker. Go for leg. Yep, standard does more damage. Can't change from cluster. Would rather be pretty slug. But let's just do this. Right. Reporting. That's my special ability, um, is Precise Master. So I that precision strike. God. <laughs> oh, yay. So when I have precision strike Mission enabled, successful. not only does he give me additional bonus to hit and lowers their initiative, the enemy's initiative by one, puts them further down the list, I can choose where I want to actually uh, shoot at, like as if the mech was, was down, had fallen down. Which, by the way, when a mech falls down, you can you can choose where you want to, to fire at. Not that you're going to hit it necessarily. There's a percentage chance still for all those areas, but you're basically telling the computer, "This is where I want my shots to land, if if at all possible." All the all the hits would will land on that area. There's like a percentage chance for everything. The head is the hardest one to hit. Center torso is the easiest. So if you say, like, I want to hit headshots, and it's like 5% or whatever. Okay, 5% chance to hit. Boom, 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 boom. Basically, you roll to hit for everything. And if everything hits, you know, if, those, if that weapon hits, then you roll, this, roll the percentage chance to see, okay, did it hit where you wanted it to go? And then from there it goes, well, okay, it didn't hit there, so it will go somewhere else still. Um, 11,000 bucks. Yeah, we... A lot of money spent on all those missiles. Uh, Light Fingers Kit Fox is going to be in for a day, probably. Nothing else was heat sink, so it'll be in there for more than a day. Cephalus. Um, I don't know what the deal with, with the Cephalus was. Went internal, I guess, on something, but it's not really showing. But I will. Alrighty. So we have four things we can choose from, but we're going to scroll down through. Cargo components. That's what I was talking about. 150, I said 500,000. 150,000 bonus C-bills, what you get. And it's for each one. And you see it says, what's inside? No one knows. You can read the, the specifics here, but it's a box of goodies. All kinds of cool stuff could be in there. Um, is there anything here? I'm always looking towards this way because I would love to get a clan heat sink kit. Uh, that'd be nice because if I get like a cool intersphere mech that I want to use, I want to put in some clan stuff. Like, you know, clan double heat sinks would be great. They're better than intersphere. Uh, they they uh, take up less space. Um, clan for fibrous armor is better than intersphere. The clan ECM suite, you know, there's uh, several things that are better. So what I want to take, take the Golem Battle Armor. Maybe. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have any of that. Um, there's nothing else here that I'm like really liking. I have four LRM-10 clan, that's fine. One SRM six clan. Maybe I'll go for that. I now have plenty of Beagle Active Pro clans. Three mechs that have them. ECM Suite I have plenty of as well. No, no cool ammo. Um, I think I just get a clan SRM six. I mean, while well, yes, it'd be cool to get uh, another Kit Fox part. Yeah, we could use some items as well. Okay, let's see what the nineteen items are. Cephalus, the Golem, or uh, Golem Battle Armor, Kit Fox, two Miss Lynx parts, so cool. Air Medium Laser, LMG, that's cool. Uh, Inner Sphere LRM5 is alright. Inner Sphere SRM6s are alright. The Core 40 engine, I'm gonna sell, well, yeah, I'm gonna sell that because that's for just the, the, the smallest type of uh, vehicles. You can't put this in a mech. It's just, I don't think it's to be even possible. So, 35 grand. 120, that's also for vehicles. Um, that could be doable. We'll hold on, uh, we'll hold on to it, it says I have one. Fair Fibers Clan, I have eight. 
There we go. Made another 100,000. So, yeah, this is a good good haul. 943. Let's see what the cargo components provide. Should be 150 per, so that's 450. They should be at 1.3, almost 1.4 million now. After this mission, that was a really good, lucrative mission. Long, compared to the first mission of this episode, but still. Having to deal with the convoy, the escorts, which was just the mech and the battle armor. And then the reinforcements, which were the two mechs. Yeah, that kind of, it took up some time. I guess in retrospect, I probably didn't need to swing Bloody around. That probably would have been better just to bring him in with everybody else. Yep, 1.4. Heavy, small laser clan, two LMG clans, UAC five clan, a streak, two streak two clans, two year small lasers, heavy small laser, uh, ER, AT, and ammo, two ECM suites, um, armor piercing goss. It doesn't say what the advantage is here for this. I mean, it's basically Goss ammo. So if I have a Goss rifle, which I don't yet, I could use this. But I would think that a peak Goss means maybe greater chance to crit or 60 points of armor damage and 10 of, or 5 or whatever of uh, internal. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, standard ATM, uh, some pack 4 ammo pack two ammo a uh, oh, a full a full already built golem battle armor and some pack eight or a pack eight actually auto can yeah for clan protomix. A decent weapon. That could be something we might look at to put in. I don't think we have ammo for it. I have two and four ammo. I don't have eight ammo. Yeah. So, but, ooh, so yeah, we got, we're gonna have battle armor on the field. That mech you asked for is cleared yep. for fighting. So we'll bring somebody in. So we'll have six mechs and battle armor. So next mission. <laughs> Golems are going to ride. Literally, they're going to ride. All right, let's get to the mech bay. We got some repairs to do. Uh, this one, they're both probably going to be kind of... Uh, no, actually they're not. Costs a little bit more than normal, but it's still taking oh, one day. I'll let you know when that's yeah, done. The Cephalus, one day as well. Okay. Not bad. Um, and there's the Golem. So, one of them, they got magnetic clamps. Interesting. It says it does not permit the uh, battle armor to make swarm attacks unless otherwise noted. Swarm attacks is when the battle mech goes on top of the enemy mech and the camera doesn't show what's happening because it's so horrible. Uh, and then it does, it, they shoot everything and they have like actual hand to hand combat that's available. But I guess maybe Golem battle armor doesn't get to do that. 10 ton. Well, that's like really heavy. 400 armor. Each one. I know. It's 400 armor. To each one is 80 armor, 5 internal. Which, by the way, because it's just a suit, it's just a suit, you have to just, you have to do 85 points of damage to each one. It, it, with a mech, for example, you know, 
the total total armor here is 425 because 400 armor 25 internal but if you look at you know say uh the chimera it's 575 armor 336 internal but it's spread all over the front and back each point you know you can do 85 points internal damage on the rear armor and then you kill the mech you don't get that kind of capability with with the with uh, battle armor, you do 85 points to a battle armor, you've only killed one of them. So, that weight for weight, ton for ton, battle armor tends to be far better than, than uh, max, I feel. Disadvantage, though, of course, mobility. Battle armor have to ride into battle. Their movement is so slow. Um, they, they can move a couple, a couple hexes at most. They're not really moving too far away. Plus, their weapon, weaponry is not the best either lot of damage. Bear Hunter, super heavy, auto cannon, 17 damage, 10 stability. Wow, oh, that's, that's pretty badass. Uh, advanced SRM-5. These are uh, one sh oh, five rounds of internal ammo, so these do carry ammo. Okay, normally uh, SRMs carried by battle armor is a one-shot deal only, but... So... SRM-5 does 8 damage, that's 40 points of damage, and it can fire uh, 5 times doing this. And the Bear Hunter Super Heavy, oh, it has 2 Super Heavy Auto Cannons. Holy cow. So... Weapon carries 4 rounds of internal ammo. Oh, so it can only fire. <laughs> so it can fire the auto cannon four times and the SRM five times. So really, these things are good for just five rounds, and that's it. They have magnetic clamps, which doesn't allow them to swarm. So if I see golems, keep it range, of course. 180 meters for max on the auto cannon. The SRM's probably yeah, 280. I was about to say. 250, 300. Um, so yeah, stay at range, and the battle armor is not that bad. This this golem, but for us, it will help us out greatly. So we got to repair those. Our, our new and refit harness, uh, financial report. Let's go to barracks. We might have some personnel yeah. upgrades, which we do. So let's give Ether some gunnery. She had an increased chance to hit. Training confirmed, Commander. Ready, Plenty. Commander. Do the same thing. Give him a chance to hit. Actually, has a lowered recall recall penalty penalty, but she has the AC. Training complete. Uh, auto cannons, ballistic type weapons um, have a recoil. So if you f fire it and then fire again the next turn, it you get a recoil penalty from what you did the previous turn. You typically have to fire, wait a turn, fire to avoid that penalty. I never Waiting do because the penalties. Negligible yes, enough. Commander. Um, so we're going into piloting with you. Sure movement, gain one evasion. After moving, okay. Or, um, Phantom. We'll take the passive because we have an active ability. Try to make sure that I take one active and two passive at all possible, so that way I don't have to burn my resolve on um, on stuff. Because we also got precision strikes as well, which I have precision master, so get burnt, get enough resolve up so I can use battle lord, get enough resolve up so I can use precision strike, so precision master can kick in. Yeah, I don't need a don't need another active complete. ability that costs resolve for him. Got something you want done? This day, let's put piloting, or no, gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah. Receiving you. Scorch. Uh, Commander. Shade, we'll probably put shade, potentially put shade, might put floppy in the uh, battle armor. Good to go. I'm receiving you. Good to go. Uh, we'll give you a chance to hit. Training complete. Orders. Okay, alright. Alrighty, hour into this, we're going to go ahead and save it. The next mission probably not going to be 
uh, short. Yeah, it's probably not going to be short at all. We'll pick it up on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.